WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And come to get all the U.S. indices trading. The upside Dow's up 616 points, nearly 2%. The S&P's up 68, 1.5%. NASDAQ 100, a little over 1%, 176 points. The Russell is up 46. The semis are up 55. The trannies are up 280. Hey, I've got my index charts finally working out here. So let's go take a look at uh, those. Uh, lately, we've just been looking at the uh, ETF. So let me get over to that screen. In the upper left, you're going to see the Dow Jones Industrial. Now, here's what we know. Uh, in the case of the Dow, yesterday was a bull sash candle. That confirmed an A to B equals CD down pattern or a Gartley buy. Prices above its oscillator and change line. This is a wide-ranging bars. Markets do not end on wide-ranging bars. So if price closes towards the high of the day, and typically it will close at the high of the day with this kind of a bar inside each of the indices out here, uh, no guarantee. But uh, that's not how markets end. In the case of the Dow Jones, the cash indice, this is suggesting that price should move up to the 35,475 area. The S&P is more bullish than the Dow. The S&P has a green oscillator and change line. Let me hit my refresh button here, move that up. And uh, what we can see is prices above its oscillator and change line. That level is green. So green tells us that we have a price oscillator above zero. Price above that says we have a rising price oscillator above zero. 44.59 is the number. So a close above that is bullish for the S&P 500. The NDX 100, it's targeting it's uh, oscillator and change line. That's at the 15,439 level. The Russell 2000, strong leg bull, it's up above a red oscillator and change line. Just says more retracement or more of a counter trend move is likely. The semis, they're headed back to their all time highs, likely to make a new all time high, back above its green oscillator and change line. The transports, which have been a weak indice right now today, they are confirming a Gartley buy pattern or buy the D point at least. Spot Balotinix trading below its 50-day exponential moving average right now, so that's bullish for the markets. Uh, the XAU needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. So that's what the indices look like as we speak. Let's get back to see if there's anything else on the charts out here. Folks, I would say the most important thing to be watching today for signals is that spot volatility index, because if it closes below the 50-day, which is currently priced at 1862 and price right now trade at 18. 44. That is bullish for the markets, certainly the S&P 500, and that suggests to move in the ES Mini up to the 4483 level. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll bring us on home, and I'll be back with you tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.